And you see Tarleton and the Aggies set to go. The aforementioned McCants ends up winning the opening tab. Evan Gilliard, uh, one of the most talented point guards in the league, bringing it up as we take a look at the Aggie starters highlighted by Gilliard, the 5'10 senior. Uh, he can score the basketball 10 and 2 so far this year. Mexico State very deliberate on their opening possession and turn it over. It's what Tarleton does best as Jackson comes up with the 17th steal of the year. This Tarleton State Club turning teams over at a plus eight rate. Some of the best numbers that we have seen in the conference. Texans on their opening possession. A 17-foot mid-range J hangs and falls for Bogues. And Tarleton on the board early. The Mexico State, a team that likes to run a lot of side pick and roll, motion action. Billy Gillespie in his first year at Tarleton loves to employ the man-to-man -man defense. They ran a little 1-2-2 one, two, two last week against Dixie State. Out of the trap, they reverse the ball, get a deflection. Tarleton State really playing tough. Shot clock's down inside of three. And they turn it over. Second turnover in as many possessions. And this is something that... Tarleton State did not do in their last game in losing 64 to 48. This Texan team only forced 15 turnovers. And there's Billy Gillespie who has made his name at UTEP, A&M, Kentucky, and Texas Tech, and most recently with Ranger Junior College. He's an alumnus of Ranger and took them to the national title game. And here he is at D1 Tarleton State. Nice drive with a floater, it comes off, and New Mexico State has the board and they'll push it. Here comes Tillman, and that ties the game as Johnny McCants, who averages 10 and 6, 13th best rebounder, puts New Mexico State on the board and ties us. Two minutes gone by here at Wisdom Gym. Shamir Boats, who uh, one of the most talented guards, a young freshman. Now down inside to Hicks. And yanked down by McCants. And here come the Aggies to take their first lead of the game. McCants very tough at the post position. A wonderful pull up for Rice. Too strong. And there's Hicks with his first rebound. He got pushed over. It's going to go against Donnie Tillman. It's his first. First team foul. Two and a half minutes into the ball game. See Chris Jans, who is in his fourth season, 89-23 in four years here with New Mexico State, a club that has won three straight WAC championships under Jans, who was with Wichita State for a very long time. Here's Bogues. He's got a chance to get to the league, and boy, what a great dribble drive and uses the reverse. Second bucket of the ball game. He's got all four for Tarleton. That big post, Johnny McCanns. You see him 6'7, 225. Some call him a forward. He can play the three, four, or five for New Mexico State. This is what Tarleton does, making him go deep into the shot clock. Four to shoot. Two-man game, the fade and fire, way too strong in the violation. So Tarleton State has forced two traditional turnovers and now the shot clock violation. And this is what Billy Gillespie loves to do. They love to force teams into a game of really tug of war, if you will. Tarleton averages 76 a game. That's fifth in the conference, but uh, they would love to take 52, 51, 50 shots in the game. They don't want to be forced to take 60. Tarleton to try to take a two-possession lead. The Cinco got out of trouble. Here's Gibson for three. They'll say he had a toenail on the line. And Gibson, who came in 10th best in the league in shooting at 54%, gives Tarleton their largest advantage at 6-2. Cut off the baseline, a staple of Billy Gillespie's program. Tillman trying to back him down. Extra pass, three ball for the big man, McCants, and he knocks it down. How about that? McCants with all five, the lead's down to one. Carlton State again, winners of 
four of five coming in. And they got off to a slow start this year, but they've really turned it on. And Billy Gillespie loves their exuberance in practice. They rarely turn it down, if ever. It's one of the funnest teams he's ever coached. Again, he's been at four different major programs. Went to the Sweet 16 once. Daniel getting fouled. Nice, tough drive there. And the Texans with a one-point lead in a defensive matchup between two terrific black teams. You ready? Afraid to turn it over to the newcomers this year, including Shakura Daniel. He really loves this kid and keeps him on the game, on the floor, as long as he can every game. 40 minute a game guy. And doesn't call him a point guard. He calls him a lead guard. Right. He doesn't like to give positions to his play, a positionless team. He wants his guards to be a guy that leads you into offense on one side and then gets the guys where they're supposed to be on the defensive side. But yeah, he doesn't like to say one guard, two guard. Small forward. Maybe he was the first positionless coach. I don't know. A lot of teams have gone to that, especially those that don't have 6'10", 6'11", guys that can go deep at the four and the five. Rice, very late in the shot clock here, and he's leaned upon. Shamir Bogues picks up a foul outside as the freshman tries to stay with the very shifty Jamari Rice. He did, and he's got great lateral quickness. Shamir Bogues. Uh, he's had some issues in terms of trying to uh, get accustomed to playing at the Division I level, but hey, he's a freshman out of Colleen Ellison High School, a terrific attacker, getting better on defense. There goes Rice. Quick riser, finds his miss in the lane, lays on it, and a timeout is called by New Mexico State. The Aggies go ahead and spend that use it or lose it to save a possession here in the first half. You can see New Mexico State limited to just five points here in the early goings. They like to get it in the mid-70s. Been holding opponents to 67 a game. Uh, these two coaches similar in the fact. Paso, where New Mexico State has played their pseudo home games. They're two and four on the road this season. Kalen Williams trying to bring it in, but he can't. That pressure defense by the Texans forces the five-second call. I can't remember the last time I saw a team get a five-second call out of a timeout. That's how strong this Tarleton defense is. They've been strong all year. And it really masks some limitations. Look at their who they have on the floor right now. Nobody taller than six foot seven. Constantine Dotsinko, and Dotsinko may not even quite be six foot seven. Here's Shamir Bogues, late in the shot clock, has to hoist one. Not a great take. I know it was getting late in the shot clock. They've got to work for a better shot than that. Another turnover by the Aggies. Rice upset with himself as he turns it over. But Jabari Rice, you'll see it all night. A high motor guy, a hard worker, yep. a fierce competitor. But Coach Jan says sometimes that can work against him as well. I think it's just incredible to look at Tarleton play defense and how they force turnovers. How about five turnovers in five and a half minutes of play for Tarleton? They, they, they force 20 a game. That's incredible. Again, New Mexico State wants to weather the early storm. So far, Tarleton has really forced them off their offensive game to this point. They like to run a lot of two-man game, especially on the side, Tarleton State. And they are very deliberate. They'll take it inside of 10 generally in the half court. And they do here. Gibson, such a quick trigger. That's Trey right, Gibson. Better than 50% from outside. That's what was not falling at Dixie State in the back half of that doubleheader last weekend and why they lost and were limited to under 60 points last game. Open three by C.J. Roberts, and he responds. A guy that played for Coach Gillespie at Ranger College. C.J. Roberts hits the three. And watch this Tarleton State team. They run this low one four set. Watch them really flash hard off the ball. That's how you can tell when a team really has it. How well do they move away from the ball? One of the really bright spots of this Tarleton team. Freddie Hicks, another one of these freshmen, a smooth stroke from the baseline. Hicks coming off 13 and 13. Last time out against Dixie State in a 38-minute effort. Only player with a double-double, even though he only he was three of nine from the floor in that double-double. Johnny McCants. 
a very rare skill set from the big man at six foot seven, but he can shoot threes with the best of them. And Johnny McCann, such a very tough matchup because he can stretch the floor and shoot that three. The bigs don't like to come out and defend that far out. Shakur Daniel pulls it back, the Canadian, dumps it off to Montre Gibson. Again, beating Hicks. Gibson again, five to shoot. Just needs a sliver of space. That one crawls off. Another defensive rebound here for New Mexico State. They've out-rebounded by three so far. Roberts with the quickness, but a little too strong. And there's a foul. See what this is all about. It's going to be a flop warning on Tarleton. Again, last couple years in college basketball. Uh, you get that first flop warning. A second one throughout the game means free throws. We'll see Gilliard come back into the ball game. The undersized point, they list him at 5'10", probably more like 5'8". But I like how Coach Jans has really made the adjustment, and they're really starting to attack the paint against Tarleton, forcing Tarleton to stay in front in man-to-man -man defense. Shows what a good matchup this can be between these two squads. Montre Gibson sends it around the outside for Shamir Bogues. Datsinko. He has unlimited range. That 15-footer, no problem for the rusher. But really good offensive player. He's versatile. He can shoot. He's tall at 6'7". That is a nice fade and fire on the baseline. Not a lot of guys his size can do that consistently. Clayton Henry looks back door. Nice cut and one as C.J. Roberts delivers going to the bucket. Boy, and C.J. Roberts, the transfer from Rangers, you mentioned before, Broward College transfer as well. He's really talented. Certainly is. New Mexico State up two. The junior college route ended up playing with Coach Gillespie last season at Ranger Junior College. While now he's two, playing against him. While these two teams are defensive oriented, they're both shooting over 60% right now. But Tarleton State has forced a bevy of turnovers to start this ball game. For Little. Tarleton State, really, that's what they want to do because they know there are some limitations height-wise when they're defending in the half court. Out of the timeout, a little 2-2-1, three-quarter court press. Tarleton trying to break it. Out to Dotsinko, but that one doesn't go. Offensive rebound by the freshman Bogues, and he's fouled going back up. Yeah, and it's the offensive rebounds that were somewhat non-existent against Dixie State. They did get nine last game, but only four the game before that. And Billy Gillespie really talks about getting the backside guards to crash into the paint on shots, especially mid-range jumpers, and that time they do, and they uh, get paid for it going to the line. Shamir Bogues already with five points in this one. He has four double-figure games in his freshman season. Out of Colleen, Ellison High School, Central Texas. A great offensive glass, and just for the mere fact that he was able to go up strong and draw the foul uh, makes him very valuable to this Texan team. That's a mindset. One of two that trip to tie it back up at 14 competitive games so far. Here's the first ever time these two teams meet in the WAC. New Mexico State leads the all-time series, 1-0. Another good look for C.J. Roberts, and he continues to best some of his former teammates. Nine points for Roberts. You know, he came in only a 27% three-point shooter. He was a 6 of 22 from deep. Hadn't taken that many takes, hadn't hit that many, but he looks very loose tonight. No doubt about it. Hicks inside, hits the deck as he misses on the jump. Clayton Henry into the front court for the Aggies. Needs some help. Gilliard down to Chicago to Roberts. That one's just a little short, but he got the step for sure. And good help by DeSinko to force that tough floater farther away than they wanted, and Tarleton gets the ball. Oh, Bogues right through the middle. And the offensive rebound and stick back by Montre Gibson. Tarleton back within one. When you see the offensive glass for this Tarleton State team has proved to be really beneficial. It's their second one in a row, and they've gotten points both times. C.J. Roberts has nine of the points so far for New Mexico State, and eight have come from Johnny McCants. Those two, the only ones doing the scoring so far for the Aggies. 
In the corner, Evan Gilliard, the second, not shy about pulling the trigger. He's a scoring point guard, his first three. Boy, he is, and he's a tough left-handed shooter. It's his second year in the program. Came in with 39 assists, but he averages 10 a game. He's a senior. He's the UTEP transfer. Gillespie knows him well. Now a four-point lead for New Mexico State, their largest so far. Stepping into it, Daniel comes up short. And a travel again on the Aggies. C.J. Roberts can't believe it. Sixth turnover against the Aggies so far. Tarleton has yet to turn it over, but you see another great shot. What a great catch and shoot three from the corner for Gilliard. And he came in tied for 15th and makes from deep. That's his 19th of the year. This Aggie program trying to get things going late stages of the season. With four games left in the regular season before the WAC tournament. Mexico State, the three-time defending regular season champions in this league. But have found sledding a little bit tougher this year as a slip and fall in the corner ends up costing Tarleton. Yeah, <laughs> first turnover of the game. You're 10 minutes plus in. You haven't turned the ball over. You've done well. And the first one that New Mexico State forces ended up being a slip right there on the sideline. You see Coach Jans has to be a little bit concerned with uh, how this Tarleton State team is getting good looks right now, even though they've got a four-point lead. Rice underneath to McCants, great position, bodying up against Dotsinko. Nice little spin move, but comes up short. Well, he doesn't miss very often. When he's that deep, Tarleton did not go red on the post, and McCants had a really good look at it, just did not convert. Gibson, the leading scorer for the Texans, gives it up. Daniel to initiate the offense. Texans patient in the half court. A look for Freddie Hicks. And Hicks is called for the travel. They pulled the rug out from under Freddie Hicks. And Freddie Hicks committing the second turnover in a row for Tarleton State. And this Texan team, again, down by four. And uh, you watch that last play using that crab dribble, but the drop step got him in trouble. He was off balance when he dropped that left foot. And he ends up turning the ball over. Had Gilliard at five foot 10 in the post, exactly what Tarleton wanted. Rice back in, the star player for New Mexico State. The preseason WAC player of the year, wearing number 10, but it's knocked away from him by Shakur Daniel. Down on the floor, looking for a timeout, and instead a tie ball. Yeah, and they're not happy about it either because I think Daniel was trying to get a timeout called, and the official didn't grant it. He was looking right at him. Tie ball is possession to Tarleton. So either way, Tarleton basketball here. And I think it, it really turns out in... Coach Billy Gillespie in Tarleton's favor because you never want to use timeouts just to save a possession in the first half unless it's really necessary. Uh, you see Shakur just trying to look at the official, ends up getting the whistle blown for a jump ball. And I, I think he wanted a foul too. For some reason, just they reset the shot clock to 20 here instead of a new 30 for Tarleton, even though there was a change of possession there. Tough Gibson. Steps into one. Tough ball pressure, and Gibson with a hand right in his face ended up shooting it anyway. Not a great look, and the Texans will get it anyway. Yeah, third travel for the Aggies as McCants just came down a little bit awkwardly, stumbles away, and he's called for the travel. Another early giveaway for the Aggies who are shooting it well, Scott, but giving it away too much. Aggies go small with Clayton Henry coming back in. It's interesting. Uh, Coach Jans has decided to turn up the guard pressure a little bit in the half court to make these Tarleton guards uncomfortable. Bogues curling into the lane. That's a charge. It's a great attack, but I thought an even better defensive play to stay in front. Really good first step by Bogues, who's left-handed anyway, and you saw him put it on the floor really hard uh, going vertical and uh, just runs over the defender just outside of the charge circle. Second one on Shamir Bogues. You have to watch that. Evan Gilliard coming over to take that charge. And the Texans have to pull out Shamir Bogues. Come back with Tosh Small for the first time out of Durham, North Carolina. Missed last weekend's games against Dixie State, but he's been the leading scorer off the bench this season for Tarleton at about 11 points a game. And a good defender as well, as you can see. Hounding Gilliard up the floor it results in a turnover. This one's going Tarleton's way. Boy, this New Mexico State team running up against a buzzsaw defensive matchup with Tarleton. Tarleton's defense leading the way. The New Mexico State up by four.
We are in Stephenville. It's, he wanted to bring those players over because he's comfortable with them. He knows how hard they work. He knows what it takes to get it done at this level, and he trusts them. And heck, they know him as well. Charlton trying to cut into the lead. Taj Small finds Gibson right in the middle of the floor. Gibson rises and hits. It's a much needed bucket for Tarleton as they were one for their last six shooting. This is what Tarleton does. They love to run the half court set. They don't really push the ball and tempo it a lot. They like to get great looks in the half court. Little ISO here, Donnie Tillman to the rack with the beautiful reverse. Mm. Well, he just blew right by Jonathan Jackson, who just could not stay with Tillman, who's a scoring threat. Terrific mid-range shot, but that time he took it all the way to the rack. That really was pretty from the former Pac-12 sixth man of the year as a sophomore a few years back. Shakur Daniel gives it back out to Jonathan Jackson. Center at six foot five. So Back to Gibson. Tough four out, one in motion right here that Tarleton is running. They've got some matchup uh, advantages out there. Gibson just a little bit strong, and Tillman crashes down for that rebound, leads the team with six a game. Yeah, and Gibson, a guy that averages 15 a contest, ninth in the league, and uh, they're hoping that he really gets going off the, off the bounce. Tillman has it knocked away from Jonathan Jackson there, and it stays with New Mexico State. And Donnie Tillman, the UNLV and Utah transfer, this is his third school, as we see C.J. Roberts, the junior out of North Highland Village, and uh, he has a seat. Both these teams liberal, liberally subbing early. As Kalen Williams is in to run the point. Finds Rice, he can score from all three levels, but passes up on a three here. Drive by Williams with only four to shoot. Finds Henry late in the shot clock. Got it off in time, but it's out of bounds off of Tarleton. Freddie Hicks couldn't corral it. Just a terrific closeout by Montre Gibson, who made it very difficult. Usually you get a drive and a kick out and a wide open three off of that, but Tarleton so very aggressive at being able to close out on three-point shooters. And New Mexico State has not shot well recently. Back inside the lane, quick hops. Tillman grabs his own miss and scores. Well, he missed the bunny, which is what you absolutely hate. But Chris Jans loves the effort and the offensive glass. He's still able to convert. See the next level athleticism from the Detroit native. Largest lead for New Mexico State at six. Texans try to cut into it. More two-man game right here as they try to get into the mid post. To Hicks, but he was being pushed off the block by the much larger McCants. Daniel around that screen, all the way to the cup. No foul call as he hits the deck, and again, Tillman with the board. Tough drive by Daniel, but the size got him. He could not finish and did not draw the foul. Big victory defensively for the Aggies. Oh, an easy turn away by Johnny McCants. Got the mismatch against Gibson. Scores it easily, and Billy Gillespie needs to talk it over. Boy, and Johnny McCants, if he catches mid post or deeper he is very very tough and they're trying to get a double team on him when he catches because if he cautions in the state of new mexico so some aggie fans in attendance here at tarleton state university seeing the aggies open up that eight point advantage we talked to coach jans earlier in the week and he's trying to have that positive disposition even though his team's been put in a tough spot jackson has the talent to trigger from there comes up empty and tarleton continues to give away a run to New Mexico State. Yeah, they're not getting much on the offensive glass. It's really what hurt them in that second game against Dixie State in the loss. Oh, that one's knocked away. Hustle play. Shakur Daniel diving for it, but not able to come up with the possession. What a great effort right there by Shakur Daniel, who's a really tough point guard. You see him diving for loose balls, winning 50-50 balls. Such a leader on the floor and off the court. Just a terrific player. He's a junior out of Toronto and played for Coach Gillespie at Ranger Junior College. While he was in Canada, there were some comparisons he was drawing to Andrew Wiggins in the NBA. Boy, nice back cut and the layup by Henry. Boy, and Clayton Henry, not only was it a great back cut, he cut it just the right time to get separation and an easy conversion to extend the lead to 10. Yeah, Kalen Williams with the nifty bouncer. 
Taj Small, leading scorer off the bench, good on his second one, and the foul. Tarleton really needed that one. He's the best rebounder on the team, and boy, he needed it that time. He misses the runner, but somehow in mid-flight gets the putback to go. What a great athletic play right there. Terrific putback by Taj Small, the Troy transfer. Breaks a nice little run for New Mexico State, and Small is 70. 8% foul shooter to the line. Yeah, ain't nothing spurt there for the Aggies, and that's what they can do to you. Again, they don't shoot all that well, but uh, they can convert inside when they get paint touches. And if they can stay away from the turnover bug here early, they've proven they can shoot it against this particular team. In for the first time, Will McNair, big man number 24. And that one's just a little bit wide for Johnny McCants. Another turnover on the Aggies. And Freddie Hicks, if, if you watch that, really doing a good job of three-quartering the big man there. They make the adjustment of three-quartering the 6'7 McCants. See, 10 turnovers, and Tarleton's turned those previous nine into nine points so far. See what they can do with this one, down by seven. Stepping out, Freddie Hicks, the freshman, putting it up. No good, but Small skies for the rebound and dribbles out of traffic. It just took it away from McCants. How about that? That's effort. And that's what Billy Gillespie loves about this team. Small off to Gibson. Gibson a talented score. Out of Waxahachie, Texas, south of Dallas. And a foul is called. This one is going on Montre Gibson for that drive. An offensive foul, one of the rare turnovers for Charlton, just their second of the evening. Great drive right there by Montre Gibson as we see it here. Strong into the paint. But Silver. Bought home, the facility in Phoenix, <laughs> Arizona. The El uh, Don Haskins Center, the home of UTEP. Also, uh, high school in El Paso as well. What a tough season because of COVID for so many reasons for New Mexico State. It's really hard to do that when you're changing venues all the time. It's very hard for a team to perform well anyway at this level, let alone in different facilities. I think that's a big reason why Chris Jans is so proud of his program that's now six of seven from beyond the arc in this one. Kalen Williams hits his first three of the Boy, game. They are hitting shots that came in 30% from beyond the arc. That's eighth in the league. And they are shooting lights out right now here in this first half. Like we said, six of seven. Meanwhile, Tarleton has struggled to that one of eight effort. It all adds up to a 10 point advantage for the Aggies. Jonathan Jackson trying to go to work. An attack by Daniel, and Daniel earns foul shots. I love how Daniel and company not afraid to attack, even against these bigger forwards and posts, to get into the paint to try to draw fouls. They may not finish, but at least they'll go to the line to get shots. Shakur Daniel back to the line for a couple. Hasn't scored yet in this one, 0 for 2 from the line. And that's the mindset that this program really has. I mean, you look at how... The schedule developed with Billy Gillespie coming on scene here in Stephenville, scheduling teams like, how about number one, Gonzaga, mm -hmm. Baylor, Kansas, and others at that level. And it's one of the things that Billy Gillespie wanted to do. He wanted to prove to everyone that, hey, we're not afraid to play anybody. This is who we are. We're going to be defensive oriented, and we're going to get it done. And it really helps sell the program, too. And when you're taking that step up from Division Two to Division One, when you schedule those teams as you get a look, chance to look at Shakur Daniel on that drive. When you schedule those teams, you know, people start looking across the country at that ESPN scroll and saying, all right, Tarleton State, who is this? That's right. And then you upset somebody on the road, one of those top five teams down the line. Now you really got something. And in this era of COVID, I don't know if you've been watching the top 25, but it seems like we've got a much larger ratio of upsets this year than we've had in recent history. It's just such an uneven year. Anything could happen for sure. Kalen Williams, who just hit that three, backs it out against Taj Small. Boy, Tarleton not afraid to put ball pressure on these guards. Switching everything. Small wrapped up, and a tie ball. Possession stays with the Aggies, but there's only four to shoot here. Yeah, and this Tarleton team continues to stay in man defense. A lot of teams will run what's called a pack line defense where the backside guards will be in the middle of the paint. They don't help off that much, but when you get the attack, the backside guards converge so quickly, it's almost as if they've been playing help all along. Kalen Williams has it stolen away by Montre Gibson, the 11th turnover of this evening. 
Somebody lost a shoe as well on that play. Freddie Hicks inside, may have gotten away with a walk, but he throws it away anyway. Yeah, nobody in the corner to, to pass to, and he kind of got himself in trouble. Probably would have been better served to pull up and take that jumper instead of attacking amid the trees there. But uh, Tarleton State continues to fight, still an eight-point game. Story right now, though, is that the only way Tarleton can stop New Mexico State is by taking the ball away. And there's the lost shoe. Get a chance to see it there from C.J. Roberts. As Billy Gillespie starts to work on the officials. Love his mantra, play hard, play smart, play tough. And uh, love that mantra. And that's something that he got from Bill Self. And all of you Dallas Maverick fans watching this ball game, it's the mantra that uh, the Mavericks have uh, sort of employed. They use that a lot in their camps. Lesby says, I come from the Bill Self coaching tree. That's how I ascribe myself. I think you'll see them match up with Kansas a few more times down the line as well as Johnny McCants continues to get free inside. Seen some great finds from the outside into McCants. McCants always seems to be in the right place at the right time. He's got great hands for a big man. Very crafty around the rim. He's hard to defend. With that bucket, yet another 10-point advantage for New Mexico State. They've been able to grow it to this 10-point lead a couple times here in the first half. You know, this Texan team averaging 76 points a game, fifth in the league. But they really struggled last time out to put the ball in the hole against Dixie State, just 48 points, and shot 35% against Dixie State. They're at 39% right now. You're just going to see different type of defense against Conference foes, great sharing. Roberts and Rice going back and forth. Roberts for the two. Texans having a hard time getting back in transition, and Roberts off the bench again. The former Broward College standout ends up finishing in transition. Again, he was a four-star recruit coming out of high school. He's showing off some of that here. Taj Small left open, and it's just rimming out for Tarleton. Only one for 10 now from the outside. Rice trying to respond. Ooh, and he singes the strings. Jabari Rice finally on the scoreboard, and New Mexico State opens up a 15-point advantage. Boy, and they are hot, too, from beyond the arc. They have only missed one three in the game, believe it or not, to this point. And this was a team that had not shot well coming in, just 30%. Light a fire under his team late here in the first half to swing in front of Tarleton by 15, force that timeout by the Texans. Tarleton really having trouble putting the ball in the basket here in the first half. And having a hard time getting looks inside. And they're going deep into the shot clock a bunch. Daniel, little one-on-one -on -one play. Freddie Hicks stripped going up. And Hicks had to put it on the floor when he caught it. Would have been better served to take it right up, and it cost him. Rice, a little bit out of control. That high dribble and loses it out. Javari Rice, the WAC preseason player of the year, held scoreless until that three moments ago. You see how hard he plays. Montre Gibson coming back out as we end up seeing the departure. Tarleton starting to give it away a few more times. Dotsinko, he's got the range. It's a lot of contact there. He tried to sell the call, but to no avail. And not a great take. When you combine bad takes with poor shooting, it makes it very tough to score. And Billy Gillespie not very happy about it either. The hack by Taj Small means free throws for New Mexico State. The one and one on the, or rather that only the fifth on Tarleton. My apologies. So one that they had to give. And we're going to see uh, Dutschenko come out of the ball game and Billy Gillespie explaining it to him that, hey, that's not a good look. You're, you're five, six feet beyond the arc. We're not shooting well. We've got to work to get a good shot. It's just not Tarleton's game. C.J. Roberts, 12 in the first half, playing against a lot of his former teammates. A deep three by McCants. Oh, my goodness. They cannot miss. New Mexico State up big. They trapped the ball, end up giving up a wide open pick and pop as the backside rotation was late. And they had a chance to measure the three and hit it. And they'll be measuring that one after the game as well. Last shot of the first half. Off the mark for Shakur Daniel. What a first half for New Mexico State. The Aggies close it with a flourish. 
as from outside New Mexico State just dominates and Tarleton is held scoreless for the last three minutes of the first half. This is the Mexico State team hitting shots for all that we talked about team that it's every three ball except one. You're going to have some problems on the scoreboard. Smaller starting lineup for the Tarleton Texans back on the floor. Montre Gibson led all Tarleton scores with nine in the first half wearing number one. Shmir Bogues picked up two fouls in the first half. It's number 25. Tarleton stays with that four out, one in motion to start the second half. Jackson called for the travel, trying to size up Johnny McCants. You know, what Billy Gillespie likes about Jackson at the center spot is the fact he can size up some of those bigger dudes across from him, try to drive by, but Johnny McCants is a pretty Good defender and pretty quick feet for six foot seven. He is in Jackson at 6'6". Six, six. He's a tough matchup himself because he's a guard that can kind of step out. But this is sort of an even matchup with McCants. Jonathan Jackson has his hands full, though, here in the second half. And McCants got the seal on Jonathan Jackson, but the pass a little too strong by Jabari Rice. Hasn't been the greatest production from Jabari Rice in this one. You know. Tarleton's had a chance really to win every single game. Nobody plays harder than this Texan team. Now, they ended up uh, playing, I believe it was ACU earlier this year, extended the lead to 20. So it's rare to see the disparity on the scoreboard like we're seeing it tonight. Daniel has an open three if he wants it. Instead, Gibson right back to Daniel, driving through defenders. Sets up Jackson, who passes up on the three. Only one to shoot. Finally, Gibson at the end of the shot clock, and they're now one of 11 from outside. My goodness. And got a great look. It's the third best three-point shooter in the league, but he just could not get it to go. Went halfway down and came out. It's just been that kind of night for the Texans. Freddie Hicks picks up his second foul for Tarleton. That kind of night for sure, and it's the tale of two baskets. Whatever basket that Tarleton's shooting at cannot be penetrated, and the Aggies have certainly shot well tonight. Again, eight of nine from beyond the arc. Donnie Tillman bashing against Hicks. Hicks standing up to it. Rice very active and lays one home. Well, and Hicks did a great job defensively for the Texans, really forcing a bad take. But then the offensive glass for New Mexico State really doing a lot of work on the backside, and that's helped out this Aggie team. New largest lead for New Mexico State at 20. Meanwhile, Tarleton did not score in the first three, last three minutes of the first half. So far, the first two minutes of the second half, they haven't been able to score either. Deep two, Shamir Bogues finally breaks through. Well, you like to see him step back and make that a three right there. That's one of the tougher shots in basketball. And, uh, you know, you've seen Tarleton bypass some open looks here from the perimeter, and I'm, I'm not sure why they're not pulling it. I know they're not shooting it well, but I know Billy Gillespie, Gillespie would like to see them knock those down. A little bit gun shy, even playing at home, trying to find their footing. On the drive, Kalen Williams pulls up and hits. Boy, had great fundamentals right there by Williams. It goes up in a cylinder with that floater right there. Really good job by the sophomore, the Western Nebraska Community College transfer. Suffered a foot injury in the summer practices that kept him out till late December, so just starting to round into form and spanning the halves. You see it there in New Mexico State on a 14-2 run to blow this thing open. My goodness. Jackson, little shoulder shake. No. It's tough, and you don't like to see Jackson fade away like that, that close to the basket, but that's what McCants does to opposing post. He gets you out of your game. Williams getting wherever he wants against Shakur Daniel. Williams has it back. Runs into a triple team, and finally a tie ball. Nice job right there. Good tie up. Shakur Daniel, who's the lead guard, not the point guard, they call him the lead guard, coming over from the behind to tie up the penetrator. Good job by Tarleton to uh, force the jump, but still the Aggies catching every break. They remain uh, with the possession. Tarleton brings their main bench guard in Taj Small onto the floor, and Small goes after it. There's only five to shoot. Another tie ball, you bet. And Rice is just attacked, and Tarleton this time has possession. Well, and that's that's the trademark of Billy Gillespie's team, just maximum effort. 
when that ball gets loose, you see guys diving for it. You saw two guys there on the floor, and they forced the jump ball. A third getting it. Three guys on the floor for Tarleton State. You can't uh, ask for more effort than that. And look at Rice. I mean, he's taking shots to the back from Shakur <laughs> Daniel. I mean, he's getting clubbed out there. They've held Rice down nicely, only five points in this one, but everybody else has stepped up for New Mexico State for a 20-point lead. New Mexico State's defense has really been shorn up as this game has gone along. Here's a push on Jabari Rice, picking up his first, second yeah, foul of the night. Bo's using that ability to score off the bounce to get the defender in trouble. They they tried the two-man game left side, then they reversed the ball, tried it on the other side, wasn't there, and I loved how the post ended up moving and drifting to the elbow to allow the driver some room on the baseline. Daniel has to call timeout. Tarleton left with only one timeout for the rest of this contest after having seven, really rounding into form here at the end of the season. Yeah, and they're having a hard time scoring in transition, hard time creating turnovers and scoring off of those turnovers. They've been limited to 48 points three times this year and in their last game as well. Uh, they may struggle to get there tonight. Jonathan Jackson with his first two, and that's exactly what he wants to do. Isolate a big like Will McNair, and then use his speed to go past the six foot ten player. And really crafty finish with a reverse on the backside too with the left hand. There's another turnover on New Mexico State. Haven't had many of those here in the second half, and we'll see if Tarleton can take advantage after a timeout. So Tarleton State with a bucket, but New Mexico State still controls a very large advantage. A few years when it comes to playing on the road, 28 and seven is their true road record. Nice job to break the press, but Jackson called for the foul. And boy, Jackson way out of control there on the drive. The 6'6", 230 pound senior out of Fort Worth, the Prairie View A&M and Ranger Junior College mm. transfer. Just uh, again, way out of control on the drive. And what well, credit New Mexico State for being able to get in front and uh, grab that charge. Chris Jan says Clayton Henry is his best defender. He came up with a key stop there as Jackson was trying to get out well, in transition. Well, he showed it that time. And I just love the positioning. And it didn't take him long either, knew exactly what he was going to do with it. C.J. Roberts had a huge first half, this time blocked by the freshman Hicks. Nice play by Hicks coming over, trying to close out and did so outside the paint. Shakur Daniel is fouled on his way to the rack by Kalen Williams. I like how Tarleton trying to force the issue a little bit more instead of trying to play every possession in the half court. Very tough to do when you're undersized. Really nice block there by Freddie Hicks who came in with 10 of those, 12th in the league in the whack in blocks. Nice oh, leaner. Oh, a little behind the back move by Taj Small, and Small has his first two of the second half. Yeah. A little mini run for Tarleton. Tarleton State trying to put it together. Love how they're pushing the action here, getting to the rack, getting some space, and uh, doing some work in transition too. Nice adjustment out of the timeout for Billy Gillespie's team. 24 of the Aggie points in the first half came from beyond the three-point line. Henry denied this time. And how about Bogues on the offensive glass, or on the defensive glass, I should say, to give him an offensive possession. Going high, but small, called for going out of bounds. And you know, Billy Gillespie, you know, while his ball club's seven and nine right now, this is a guy who's been at every level from the high school ranks here in Texas to the junior college ranks, and he's coached big time programs like Kentucky, A&M, and Texas Tech. And uh, you look at the time he spent in those programs, he spent three years at UTEP, four at A&M, three at Kentucky, two at Tech. He knows what it takes to win. And more importantly, I think for Tarleton, he knows how, how to build a program from the ground up, John. And talking to him, he's, besides the record, I, I mean, he truly knows the record does not tell the story of his team this year. Tillman to the bucket, counted in one. Boy, Donnie Tillman, so strong off the bounce. What a great job against not one, but two different defenders just to get to the rag. Yeah, the foul to Jonathan Jackson, he took some contact too, right in the face. And look at that, you love to see guys like Tillman, 6'7", 225, the senior. Uh, he doesn't shy away from the contact. In fact, he initiates the contact. The UNLV transfer also had some time at Utah. Now he's at New Mexico State. Uh, really, really strong guard, at six rebounds a game. Shooting 44%, rebounds a lot of his own misses because of that aggression. 
Tillman with a little double clutch there. Yeah. We've got a lane violation because of it. How about a shot fake at the foul line? I haven't seen that before. <laughs> it's been a long time. The officials are going to talk about it here. and uh, a, a lot of jousting going on between Gibson and uh, Highlander there. One for two that, or rather, <laughs> it felt like one for two, but uh, the and one trip for Donnie Tillman to put it in. He's at seven, coming off several great games in double figures for New Mexico State. Couple in a row against Utah Valley in an easy giveaway for Tarleton, just a miscommunication between the guards. And a rare turnover for Tarleton State, who again only gives it up about 12 times a game. And uh, they're right at that mark right now. They're still plus four in turnovers, but you know, midway through this second half, you, you, Billy Gillespie wants to see his team execute on offense, kind of clean it up, and be able to score in the half court. Neither of these teams turn it over much. Henry to the baseline, can't get the kind bounce. Boy, Hicks out to Gibson. Great defense right there with a the help side. Gibson blocked as he goes up by Marcus Watson, but Watson is going to pick up the foul as well. Montre Gibson attacking early there, and Gibson just has such a versatile offensive game. We've seen him in the paint today. We've seen him from the three-point line. We've seen him go to the free throw line where he's 86% this season. And we've seen Tarleton be aggressive now, trying to score in transition. And uh, they've, they've shaved a couple of points off of this New Mexico State lead. And Montre Gibson, uh, you watch him on the attack here, uh, trying to get downhill, good scoop, mm. was able to draw the foul. Not just a ton of contact there. I'm sure that's what Marcus Watson's thinking. And a one of two trip for Montre Gibson. But Gibson in double figures for the 11th time this season. Tarleton down by 18. For the Yankees, Kalen Williams has run the point for most of the night. And we have seen Evan Gilliard the second some, but uh, not as much as advertised. And Gilliard and also Roberts, they're very tough off the dribble, tough to stay in front. And that's really hurt Tarleton at times, kind of made them vulnerable inside the paint. C.J. Roberts stepping back and drilling one. You don't see Roberts connect like this. It was a 27% three-point shooter. He said every three he's taken tonight, but it's easier to shoot. You can shoot a little bit looser when you're out in front by 20. And also when you're playing against five guys that used to be your teammates. Spin move by Gibson for two against his former teammate Roberts. Really good job right there. You see Gibson not settling for the jumper, using the spin move to get right up to the rim and able to convert. Donnie Tillman, nice sharing of the basketball. Watson wide open. The three-point barrage continues for the Aggies. Great find by Kalen Williams on the extra pass. This is what New Mexico State has been doing repeatedly and making things tough on Tarleton. 22-point advantage for the visiting Aggies playing in Stephenville for the first time ever. First of a back-to-back. -back. Freddie Hicks tries to go to work and earns foul shots. Looks like the Texans are really intent on trying to make it to the foul line and extend this game from 15 feet in the second half. Well, you know, you, you got to make an adjustment. When you're shooting 34% as they were, you've got to find a way to get to the foul line or get to the rack because uh, the jumper just not working. They were one of 10 at halftime from beyond the arc, and I like the adjustment that Billy Gillespie has been able to make with his team. You look at this, nice feed down inside. And, I, I love how the undersized guards like Hicks don't fade and fire. They initiate the contact, go up, draw the foul, stay closed on the layup attempt, make the defender go through you. Freddie Hicks has not had his best game tonight, but a tough guy. He came in really hungry and willing to work and get better as a freshman. Billy Gillespie said he was really green when he came in. Yeah, he was, and... You know, he wants to be good. He puts in that effort. He had 20 in a game earlier this year, had 13 against Cal Baptist. And it was really, really good. Johnny McCants back in, feeds Tillman. Tarleton making it tough, even though they're outsized and a foul called against the Aggies on the loose ball. And great effort. You see that feistiness. Shamir Bogues, very scrappy. He's a freshman that uh, Billy Gillespie feels like has a chance to make it in the league, has a chance to get to the NBA if he keeps working. And you see that scrappy mindset. That's what it takes 
Uh, that's what I love about a lot of these guards for Tarleton. They don't just settle for jumpers. They do the dirty work. They're going to score their points, but they're going to do the dirty work uh, to allow this ball club to stay competitive. Would be fun to see them uh, start shooting at a higher percentage to make this a closer game down the stretch. Certainly that's what everybody wants to see on our spotlight game of the week. But New Mexico State, thanks to their outside shooting, they've been huge. One of the first times, a little bit of uh, zone defense here. An explosion down the baseline by Javante Hopkins, but he can't convert at the beat yet at the bucket. Love the ball reversal. Hopkins just could not quite put the ball in the bucket, but good zone offense there for the first time against this New Mexico State team. Jamari Rice back on for the first time in a while with the ball in the corner. McCants to McNair. Back to Rice. Good look at a three. A little bit flat. Charlton. See if they push it here. Yeah, trying to speed it up. You're exactly right. And just a little bit out of control. Bogues misfires for Taj Small. Boy, just cannot turn that over. Small, the best three-point shooter in the league, was set in the corner had he just gotten the pass. New Mexico State continues to lead big. It's not about where you were born. It's not about your gender or the color of your skin. A rough go of it this year, trying to get his team on track. They came in six and six, winners of three of five, but boy, they look good tonight. Had those 65 straight nights they spent away from home in places other than their own beds. But the Aggies have endured, and now they hit February, about to be March, still with everything out in front of them. When you talk about the WAC tournament and a possible bid to the NCAA tournament, which is always what they want. Baseline drive by Johnny McCants as he's run off the line and goes to the line for two. How about McCants with the blow by? The help for Tarleton was late. McCants able to draw the foul, and he goes to the line. Boy, he has had a great game. 15 points on six of seven shooting, has hit all three threes, has four boards to boot. You see Coach Jans really excited about what this big man can do, and man, he is quite a weapon. We expected him to be good, and you watch him on tape, and he's, he's impressive, but you see him in person, man, he just looks so imposing. Look at that drive with the left hand, and the help there, as you see from Freddie Hicks coming late. You wanna, you wanna close out on a guy outside the paint. You can't let McCants get that deep. Gantz not able to make good on both, and the lead stays at 22 for New Mexico State. A team that has not won on the front end of this back-to-back -back adventure in WAC play. Chris Jan said, uh, I'd, I'd let you know what it's like to win on a Friday, but I don't know quite yet. Oh, a nice move into the lane, cupping and scoring. Shamir Bogues. Well, he's left-handed, and he's best on the right side of the floor, having able to banana into the paint able to get leverage on his defender, but I like how he accelerates to the rim, still under control and able to finish. No wonder Coach Gillespie thinks that Bogues, as a freshman, has a chance to compete at the next level. Charlton trying to dial up that pressure. <laughs> One ready for the alley-oop. Yeah, not quite. A drive by Watson, and Watson is fouled. First time we've seen Watson go to the Euro step that time, kind of inside, outside, that hard plant right foot, able to get some space, able to draw the foul. Had he not used the Euro, probably would have been a charge. Second foul on Freddie Hicks. Team foul number five on Tarleton. New Mexico State will try to do some work at the line as Watson, who has not gone to the line much this season, gets two. Well, this is a nice dribble penetration here. Inside, outside, draws the contact. He had leverage and got the call. Watson, the transfer out of Oklahoma State, originally signed at OSU, but never played there out of Buford, Georgia. Another one of these transfers for New Mexico State that has a rich history. And if they can put it all together at their new spot, the Aggies could be very, very good still for years to come. The Aggies experimenting going with the zone defense here in the second half. This is not really what they do. And Bogues trying to break it down, but this one falls wide. You know, when you've got a lead like this, you can go to some of your, your defenses you rarely use to kind of sharpen them up. Marcus Watson knocks down his second three of the second half. He came into this matchup only one of eight from deep this season. When they continue to hit three balls at a torrid pace, 11 of 14 now for the game. This is just 
Uh, not what we've seen out of New Mexico State, and hard to do that on the road. Eddie Galamuname is in for the first time. He goes outside to Javante Hopkins to knock down the three. And those have been few and far between for Tarleton State, but they'll take them. And if they can play hard enough, they can get back in it. They've got time, but it's going to have to start on the defensive end. Just nine minutes to go in this one, and a 21-point spread for the Aggies. It's a back-and-forth game early, but the Aggies, the 14-2 run over the course of the end of the first half, beginning of the second half. Ball fake by Watson. Watson way off, but an offensive rebound. Perfect spot for Will McNair to score. And when you've got a 6'10 redshirt sophomore that's 270 pounds, sometimes your best offense is a missed shot. And that time, the big man that turned it into offense. A drive by Shakur Daniel. He has it taken away by McCants. Rice. A three-pointer in transition off the mark. I couldn't believe McCants was able to center the break like that and get him a good look in transition. The big man doing it all tonight. Going to try to post up Hicks again, but this time he's not available. He's staying with that 2-3 zone. Yeah, Rice continues to front him inside, but the tireless work by Freddie Hicks. He finally gets the job done. And it was about the positioning right there and a great lob pass. Oh, and McCants right back up the floor. New Mexico State continues to put on a show. And doing it so many different ways, scoring inside, using the three ball, in transition, and that time a big flush. McCants with an 18-point effort in this one. It's career high, 19 against CSUN earlier this year. Hicks is short, but grabs his own rebound. Galamulame fumbles it away. Had a chance, but New Mexico State very handsy, able to poke it away. C.J. Roberts calls for a little two-man game with his big man, McCants. Flips it out to Rice, player of the year, preseason in the conference. Back to McCants, doing the dance. Wilson leaning in and scoring, plus one. Unbelievable. A great pass on the skip by McCants. When you get a post who can pass, they are dangerous. And McCants has just been brilliant. And they get the backside penetration, drawing the charge to convert. Marcus Watson now with a career high nine already in this one. But it's been Johnny McCants' night. Carlton on December the 8th, and then two games later, it was going to be Kansas, Baylor, A&M as well. Yep. Tough schedule for Tarleton State, but Coach Jans seeing his Aggies coming in, playing some of their best basketball tonight. And that is the first double-digit game for Marcus Watson of his career, and he comes out. Watson, uh, again, uh, a Another top 100 player by 247 Sports, 24-7 Sports in his senior season. A four-star recruit consensus-wise out of Buford, Georgia, and he's starting to pay dividends. Well, a little diamond press here by New Mexico State. They're unveiling everything. Haven't seen Dotsinko in a while. Misses badly on the three, but tracks down his own miss. And a throw away by Tarleton. New Mexico State up big, and a nice job to contest by Tarleton. Henry. Hits the three. That is three-pointer number 12 in 17 attempts tonight. And when New Mexico State blew the game open at 20 in the first half, all of a sudden shooters started shooting effortlessly and loose, and all of a sudden threes started going down with regularity. And the Aggies trying out some new defenses, I think, on this side. Step in three by Hopkins. He made one earlier, but that one's an air ball. New Mexico State opening up the lead to 29. What a nice extra pass there, and Henry able to knock that down. It's been a three-ball barrage for New Mexico State. Uh, he is so good. Uh, this New Mexico State team now has hit 12 threes of 17 takes beyond the arc, and they were not a good three-point shooting team coming in eighth in the conference. With the 29-point lead, we're seeing Bryce Rewaltz on the floor for the first time. You'll get a catch of a glimpse of him in a moment. Number 32 for New Mexico State. Hasn't played in a while. Kalen Williams to the line, though. Getting the nod at the point guard spot. One and one. Goes down. Getting a chance to get some minutes here. 
in a game that is separated by 30 points. A lot of these players from New Mexico State have not seen a lot of time. Williams is 13 minutes a game, has not started a single game, just a sophomore. And uh, this is a game that Coach Jans could use to get some seasoning to a lot of guys that don't make his eight, nine-man rotation generally. That's a really good point. And Tarleton may decide to do that as well as this night wears down. Down by 31. Stepping to the rack, Shamir Bogues lays it in. That's 11. He finally hits double figures tonight. And a great press break by Tarleton State. Nothing fancy, just set up a standard domino press break. Too high, too low, and one in the middle. And Tarleton State, you can tell they're well coached. They've done that before and done it uh, extremely well. New Mexico State has been hot all night. The pressure defense of Tarleton has not affected the shooting. Although they have been able to turn New Mexico State over more than average. It was a great steal by Daniel, who came in fifth in the league and steals almost 30 this season. Back to Shamir Bogues. His fifth double-digit game as a freshman. Dotsinko in a perfect spot. Hicks cannot follow. He's blocked by McNair. You'd like to see Dotsinko get his feet set, not have to rely on fading away. Nobody was in front of him. You'd like to see him drop step toward the rim and not turn that into a tough shot. Kalen Williams tries to continue a big night for New Mexico State. Sets up Tillman. Good block out from Shakur Daniel for Tarleton. Still playing hard, down big. Dotsinko lines one up. So New Mexico State, front end of the back-to-back. -back. Again, they haven't really found a lot of success on the front ends of these this season, as that one's way off by Henry. Chris Chan's not afraid to have his team pull the trigger from Trey early. No, he's not, but I know he wants to get a better look than that, and uh, he's having a chance to chat with Henry uh, as he goes to the bench as New Mexico State opening up the big lead, and uh, they've sort of maintained that lead. Tarleton State limited his 42 points in the game. Remember, they didn't shoot well in their last contest last weekend, just 35%, uh, the lowest in conference so far. They've been limited tonight to 40% and just 42 points. As Tarleton continues to go deeper into their bench, number 20, Caleb Starks, is on for the first time in this one. And a little rip drive by Freddie Hicks will result in a couple foul shots. It's a good effort by Freddie Hicks, who doesn't really look like a freshman out there. The Searcy, Arkansas native, 6'6", tough, learning, good move there on the inside. And the best part of his game is the fact that he he wants to get better. Tomorrow's scheduled games include three interconference games. All games on the WAC Digital Network, including this one. New Mexico State against Tarleton, UTRGV, and Utah Valley locking horns in a matchup between Grand Canyon and Seattle. Also, CBU facing Vanguard. Freddie Hicks makes good on both. The thing about Freddie Hicks is he comes from Searcy, Arkansas. That's where Harding University, a really good Division II program, is located. He probably had the opportunity to go that Division II route, but waited his time. Tarleton went and found him, and now he gets the chance to play Division I ball. And Freddie's a lot like Bogues in his high ceiling. And if he continues to work, he and Bogues are going to be a very tough tandem at the guard spot for the Texans. Again, Marcus Watson trying to go to work, but has it stripped this time. Small loses it going up, but right there is Bogues. He can't finish, though. Boy, and Tarleton has had a very hard time putting the ball in the hole in transition, either a missed bunny or a missed shot, a failed conversion, a blown layup, and passes into the corner in transition have not been good tonight. Not shy on the three tonight. They've gone down most of the time through the hands of Tillman into the arms of Williams, his 16-footer. No. Three and a half to play in Stephenville. New Mexico State really took control midway through the first half, and they have not relented at all. And by the way, this New Mexico State team, again, shooting at close to 63%, and this is the best percentage from beyond the arc in Jan's coaching tenure My here at New Mexico State. That is 14 for Shamir Bogues, one shy of a career high as he knocks down a rare three. <laughs> Putting on the brakes is Kalen Williams, but he stays upright somehow. Almost ran out of his sneakers. Williams getting a chance to run the point today instead of Evan Gilliard the second. 
Donnie Tillman, jab stepping on the great defender, small and... Jump ball should be. We'll see. Yeah, they're going to give it a jump ball. It will what? stay with New Mexico State with only two to shoot. How but about Bo's effort right there to tie him up from help? How about that? But an impressive eligible for the WAC tournament. But they soon shall be down the line. And, of course, we learned lately that uh, several Texas teams making the flight to the WAC as well, and they will be part of that fray. A design play here for... Uh, New Mexico State's Bryce Rewalt off the bench. Can't get it to go, but following it in is Kalen Williams. His big night continues. Kalen Williams on the offensive end, getting the rebound offensively, and that has really helped New Mexico State. Tarleton just can't keep him off the glass here in the second half. Way short out of the corner for Shamir Bogues. C.J. Roberts has had a nice night as well with his 14, 11 of them in the first half. Rewalt back on the floor. Good sharing, but it poked away. Joey Madimba out in transition. Nice job by Madimba. He doesn't get a whole lot of time. The freshman out of Mansfield, but making the most of it tonight, his eighth steal of the year, did a really good job of anticipating that pass. It's one of the reasons why Tarleton came in with as many steals as they had, first in steals in the league. Rice Rewalt relocates and hits a three. Nice sidestep dribble after a bad off-balance three. The possession before by Rewalt. Good take in rhythm. He's been out with an injury for quite a while and finally gets on the board. Kid out of Las Cruces, New Mexico. Good finish, good high finish on that three ball. Really nice shooting form by the youngster. For the brand. New Mexico State continues to extend that big advantage here in Stephenville with a minute and a half to go. And again, both these teams getting an opportunity late in this one to rest some of the legs because remember, Scott, this is a back-to-back, -back and the second game counts just as much as the first. You got to make sure that you play just as well tomorrow. And I guarantee you this New Mexico State team will not shoot nearly as well tomorrow as they have shot tonight. Again, this is the best they have shot from beyond the arc in the Jans era in four years. How about a deep three by Tennessee Owens? No good, but the follow shot goes. Well, you just cannot give up the offensive glass like that. And you can kind of see that uh, we're into the last minute and the effort has not been turned <laughs> down by New Mexico State. It's Marcus Watson continues to build on his career high. Charlton has completely emptied the bench with Ramon Garcia on out of El Paso. Five foot 10 freshman. Drive here and a foul inside the lane puts Kadarius Badgett at the line for Tarleton. Badgett might have gotten away with one right there, a little bit out of control. Uh, could have gone either way, and it goes the way of the Texans here. You know, Chris Jans told us coming into this one, he said this game was a lot like a dentist appointment at the end of the week. You know it's going to be uncomfortable. You know it's not going to be very fun. So we get a look at the drive. And Tarleton's not a fun team to play against, but the Aggies handled it well tonight, and you've got to tip your cap in every way. You know, and for most coaches, though, it's like a dentist appointment insofar as he has to coach a game. Most coaches don't like coaching in games. Is that they, right? They like to coach in practice because that's where the learning takes place. That's where the teaching happens. Most coaches are teachers first, coaches second. That's spoken like a true coach, Scott Garner. Wide open layup, finally crawls down for Javante Hopkins, a sophomore out of the Houston area. Five points for Hopkins. Player that made the transition from Division II to Division I within the last year. But tonight has been all about New Mexico State. One of their best performances of the season, knocking down double digit threes. Staying away from the Tarleton scrappy defense and dominating in Stephenville. Final score to Mexico State 78, Tarleton 49. Really nice game for Coach Jans. He's got to be so pleased with his New Mexico State Aggies who came out early on. They struggled turning the ball over the first five minutes, but when they got the wheels on, they were literally unstoppable. The best three point shooting game in the Jans era for the Aggies. Jans and the Aggies pick up the win. Two great coaches going at it today, but New Mexico State picks up the emphatic 